Are you a Mac user or always wanted to try it out? Have you been held back by Windows only programs? Well, no more. With Parallels, you can run Windows programs on your Mac as if they were made for it. Today, we're going to go over how to set everything up. So, you have Parallels already installed. Next, you will want to download the ISO for Windows 10. Go to Microsoft.com, search Windows 10 ISO download, select the latest edition and the language of your choice, then select the 64-bit download. Once that finishes, start up Parallels. Go to File, New, Install Windows or other OS from a DVD or image file. It should automatically find your Windows 10 ISO. Enter your Windows license key, which we will skip here, no free licenses today. Select Design, create a name of your choice, deselect Create Alias on Mac Desktop, and select Customize Settings before installation. When the configuration screen pops up, we go first to Option, Startup and Shutdown. It should default to Custom. Start Automatically, set to Never. Startup View, set as Same as Last Time. On VM Shutdown, set Keep Window Open. On Mac Shutdown, set Shutdown. On Window Close, will also be Shutdown. In Optimization, set it to No Limit. In Sharing, set Shared Folders to Home Folder Only. Share Profile, we will check all checkboxes. Skip down to Maintenance. This sets when your Windows updates happen. We suggest you set them for weekdays at noon. That way it runs while you're on your lunch. Now jump to Hardware, CPU and Memory. Anywhere between 8 gigs and the max recommended setting. Now on to Graphics. Leave Memory on Auto. For Resolution, if you're on AutoCAD 2019 or newer, use Best for Retina Display. If you're on AutoCAD 2018 or older, use Scale. For Mouse and Keyboard, set the mouse to Don't Optimize for Games. We move on last to Backup. Turn on SmartGuard. This will create virtual machine snapshots you can revert back to in case of catastrophic failure. Close the configuration window and click Continue. Select your Windows version and click Next. And there you go. You have your Windows Virtual Machine all set up with Parallels optimized for AutoCAD or FXCAD.